Okay, so today Zelda is homesick from school. We have a little bit of a cough. And so we are smothered in some Vicks baby rub and taking some, I don't know, homeopathic whatever that we've been recommended. And we're just lying low. We're reading, we're sleeping, we're, we're eating. Uh, and so today we were going to read one of Mommy's books. It's an anthology, so it's very like 1990s reading Rainbow, but Hurry Furry Feet is the name of the anthology, and today we will be reading When the Elephant Walks. We chose elephants oh, because of her favorite stuffy, Francine. Um, but oh, just to show you how, how like cool this is, Mommy wrote in this. See, look, Mommy's name and design is all in here. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, thank you. Yes. Okay. Oh, honey. Let's, let's fix this. Yeah. Oh. All right. Let's talk about when an elephant walks, huh? And we got a happy looking elephant. He's just walking along. You see this bear. And the bear has his hands up in in a little like um beehive that's what they're called and he's got a jar of honey in his arms and it looks like he's trying to get honey into his honey pot and as the elephant's just jolly walking around he scares the bear oh okay when the bear runs away and you can see the, the honey pot and the bees are going this way and the bear is going that way. Mm -hmm. He scares the crocodile and the crocodile is seeing the bear come along. Oh honey. And it's interrupting his little his little uh you know day at the beach. He's got a big old parasol and he's got a nice chair and an umbrella drink and he sees he sees this bear coming and he he makes off okay the, the parasol goes this way and the, the drink gets spilt to the floor and the crocodile just jumps into the ocean and you see when the crocodile swims for his life he scares the wild hog Wild Hog was also having a picnic at a nice time. You can see he's got his swim trucks on and an inner tube and a picnic basket. And he's just he's just swimming. Just swimming. And the the wild warthog, his eyes are getting wider. And off he goes. Oh yes. Whoosh. When the wild hog dashes for safety, you see the inner tube goes flying, the towel goes flying. The toad is kind of watching him like, whoa, I guess it's time for me to run too. And he runs this way. So while the wild hog dashes for safety, he scares Mrs. Raccoon. Mrs. Raccoon is there with the little stroller with her little baby. Are you my little baby? Are you my little, little, little baby? Oh, 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 oh. Yes. And the little baby had some toys, a little giraffe, and a ball, and a swing. And suddenly, Mrs. Raccoon flees with her baby. She just picks the baby right on up and puts her over the shoulder and they run for it. They run for it. Yeah. She leaves the swing blowing in the wind, the stroller on the ground, and everything is all turning wobbly. And she's running. She's looking back. She's just, she's just running. And then all of a sudden there's this mouse. And a mouse is flying a kite, Zelda. And it looked like he was having a nice time too. But when the mouse scurries in terror, and you do see he's running. And he's got his his kites all wrapped up in a tree. Well, Zelda, who would be scared by a little mouse? Oh, there's our elephant who started all the fuss. Oh, and there's Francine. Did you know that Francine's scared of a mouse? So then the elephant goes running. Oh, oh, yes, you're running. Whoosh. 
So now we're at the end of the story, Zelda, and you have the mama raccoon and the baby raccoon, the wild hog, the alligator, crocodile, one of those, the wild hog, the elephant that Francie that started it all, and the mouse looks very confused, like, why is everybody up a tree? Did I scare everybody? This little mouse, this little old me? What do you think? Yeah. All right, I think that's the end of our story. Bye bye world. We'll see we we'll say hi a little later, okay? Bye.